गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर व्लॉग सो दिस इज द मेजेस्टिक व्यू ऑफ एन ऑसम पैलेस द नेम इज उमेद भवन पैलेस जोधपुर विच वॉज बिल्ट बाय महाराज उमेद सिंह जी एंड द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस पैलेस वॉज नाइन्टी फोर लैक्स फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स रुपीज इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री दैट इज बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस Interestingly, uh, this uh, palace was completed in uh, 15 years' time, and uh, a total number of uh, 3,000 men and women who worked relentlessly for uh, 15 years to complete the entire project. So we stayed here for uh, two days, and uh, in some time we will, uh, you know, check out from the hotel. I really do not have words to explain you the feeling, or uh, uh, I do not have words to you know share the experience that we have, uh, you know, after staying here in the hotel. So just to inform you, this palace is divided into three uh, different sections. To my uh, left hand side is the Janana wing where the ladies used to stay. Uh, in the the old days and in middle is the uh, regal section uh, where the royal family used to stay and to the right uh, is the uh, mardana uh, section where the gentlemen or the men of the uh, palace used to stay this is uh, mostly because you know during old days the men and women they used to you know uh, sleep separately and hence uh, is the division now the royal family do stay in the back side of the janana uh, section and in the regal section we have all the uh, you know royal suite rooms and uh, my room is given in the mardana uh, section from where i can you know uh, look at the courtyards and the park that we have so i hope you have liked what i have shown from the front side of the palace so we will just uh, enter the palace now and i'll uh, give you a brief tour of whatever is possible inside the palace as well so please do follow me come on go back to the palace come on to my right is the marwar hall and to my left is ran banka rathor these are two halls which was used by the king to address the public to you know address their grievances and now these halls are used as a banquet halls and uh, from here we go to the regal wing we have two stairs one is to my left and uh, one is to my right so we are going to take the left stairs to this the regal wing this entire palace is built so beautifully that you know you will be mesmerized by its beauty and uh, the architecture of this palace is inspired by uh, one temple in cambodia and are very much taj mahal so this is the view of the main tomb area from the regal wing so we will take it around from here
so in this main tomb area you have the regal section where the royal suites are there and this way is the zanana section and uh, to my right is the mardana section where i am staying so we'll go to the right To my right is Heritage which is now used as a business center and this is the trophy box where you would have all the collections of Maharajas which they you know collected during the hunting days. This is Rishala. An exceptional restaurant where we were served uh, the high tea in the evening at uh, four o'clock and uh, this is billiard room so on the wall that you see the portrait of all the horses these are all the horses you know these are all the winning horses of you know polo games which was organized by Maharaj himself from the main dome area when you take a slight right we have the way to reach the zodiac swimming pool and the Ziva spa so we'll have to go downstairs So by now you must have realized that why this pool is called zodiac because you can see all the zodiac signs on the floor that I have shown you just now. What can be better than a you know temperature controlled swimming pool that you have in the hotel that you are staying? This pool was initially used by the royal families only, but later on it was open for the guests as well. I don't think you would have any reason not to visit this property after seeing this video.
like the zodiac one this is also a temperature control the swimming pool i'm a little sad because i'll have to check out from the hotel after 15 20 minutes hotel stay can never be better than this trust me So ladies and gentlemen, here I give you Umayyad Bhavan Palace Jodhpur which is built in 26 acres of land. It took 15 years for 3,000 men and women to build and a huge sum of 94,51,565 rupees was spent in 1943. So that's the legacy of this hotel and this is one of the best, one of the finest hotel that you will find on planet earth. So I really don't see a reason not to visit this hotel. So I welcome you to pay a visit to Umed Bhavan Palace Jodhpur and I'm 100% sure that you will like it for your lifetime. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. If you like it, please press the like button and subscribe. If you didn't like it, please press the dislike button and leave a comment uh, below so that you know I can improve further. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Bye.